County Sheriff Jack Tillman is lending his thoughts to this conversation as well. The longtime sheriff spent many years as a school resource officer. John Rogers sat down with him earlier today and got his two cents worth. Former Mobile County Sheriff Jack Tillman doesn't mince words when it comes to arming school resource officers. The most dangerous thing that ever occurred was the state superintendent taking their guns. How stupid is that? Tillman spent many years as a resource officer in the 80s and 90s. Right now, Mobile County has 12 school resource officers. These officers were armed until 2006 when state education officials banned the weapons, a decision Tillman did not agree with. They need everybody's support, but they need their guns. Bad things almost got killed three times. He recalled one instance when he wrestled a gun out of a student's hand. He looked back at all three of us and he says, if I'd have got away, I'd have shot all three of you. Tillman says school resource officers handle a lot of problems that the public really doesn't hear about. I couldn't believe some of the things I've seen. I had a girl got raped the first month I was there. But some local officials don't want the guns, like school board member Dr. Reginald Crenshaw. He spoke about the matter last month. I think if you have armed um, resource officers there, you can get into a confrontation. Uh, they're going to mean that they're going to possibly turn fire or they, they end up uh, could take the, the weapon themselves and use it against other folks there. So I, I, I do not think that having armed resources is the answer. What are you going to use a taser? A guy standing 50 yards from you with a gun? You're going to taser him? Stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. Crenshaw feels metal detectors would be more effective, but Tillman says they're too expensive. There's no clear solution to this dispute, and it's an argument with a lot at stake, the safety of our children. Reporting in Sims, John Rogers, Fox 10 News. Crenshaw says currently there aren't any plans for the school board to address this issue. He said the debate may come up if the state legislature decides to act.